What's up guys? It's Tom Burker from Car Daily going out for first drive review. In the 2019 Silverado 2.7 liter turbo. So this new Silverado is a, is a big upgrade versus the previous years and swaps the standard V6 for a turbo four. It's a big displacement 2.7 with 285 horsepower and 305 foot-pounds of torque through a six-speed automatic. And of course, the reason for the switch is fuel economy and going after uh, gains in town and, uh, and, and under light engine load, where um, the turbo power can, uh, you know, the four-cylinder can be really economical, and then the turbo can kick in when you want that extra power and boost um, for towing or hauling or whatever. So I was, I've been pretty excited to drive this truck because it is, uh, you know, it's really shocking to have a vehicle this massive. And the new Silverado is the same size as before, but looks absolutely gigantic. It looks, uh, with this new nose, uh, it's got a lot of the Blazer style um, aggression in its nose design, and it looks very cool for it. Uh, but uh, it looks giant, so even just reading on paper that it was going to have a four cylinder as a standard motor, it was very shocking. Um, even as almost all the F-150s you see on the road these days are running a 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6 as their uh, as their motor, but uh, and, and even smaller ones on the pipeline. So getting this Silverado is very reassuring. It feels just like a truck, and it's got pretty good power. Versus the 5.3 and the 6.2 liter V8s that have a brand new 10-speed automatic, this sticks with the traditional GM six-speed uh, because it's able to eke so much, so many miles per gallon um, out of its uh, four-cylinderness and, and much smaller displacement. Um, they didn't need all those gears, and it's nice because you know that transmission is very, very proven. So the biggest thing that is noticeable on the road is that it feels lighter. The nose feels pretty light. I mean, V6 Silverados always have felt um, a, a lot more chuckable than uh, than the V8s. And this one is about, you know, it's about 150 pounds lighter in the nose than, than the standard truck was before. So it feels very, very lightweight um, and extremely refined. That's where a lot of extra effort has gone in this 2019 refresh is into uh, the cabin refinement and to really step it up there um, to compete with this next generation of trucks like the new Ram. That's basically like one of the most luxurious vehicles that FCA makes. Uh, so Silverado really needs to uh, needed to up its game, and it has. It really has in a very uh, commendable way. It's absolutely silent in here. And the motor's got good power. It really does feel genuinely speedy with really good torque performance. Um, certainly comparable uh, uh, and probably on par with the previous V6, especially the V6 four-wheel drive. So this 2.7 liter turbo is with a four-wheel drive powertrain. We've just got it in full auto right now. And it's pretty enjoyable. I'm, I'm a fan. We're up here in Elkhart Lake, Wisconsin with the Midwest Auto Media Association's Spring Rally. And it is cool to be in uh, in the truck in its native element, you know, out in the country here, kind of. Very good torque, very good torque performance. It sounds a little buzzier than the V6, is probably the only complaint you're ever going to hear, is that it's a little bit buzzier. But it's ultra smooth, it's very, very, has a very responsive transmission uh, as well. So, which really makes the most of that turbocharger because it's never really off boost. There's really no lag to speak of. Um, of course, this latest generation of turbos is much quicker spooling, but you know, you it's always a worry. And this is a new engine for General Motors in general. So, um, yeah, biggest noticeable changes are going to be the uh, the handling, lightness, and feel, the refinement, and then an overall uh, style upgrade and boost in economy. I mean, I think it's a pretty good makeover for the truck. A truck that was already very well loved for exactly what it is, uh, is now even um, even better, you know? And, and really, the greatest part about the 2.7 liter turbo is that uh, it, the truck still is absolutely massive and really um, uh, hyper-masculine in this generation, more so than ever, with this new nose and, uh, and, and styling all around. So big upgrade, and then um, the, the other thing that we should talk about is, of course, just about refinement in general. 
So refinement has taken a big leap forward, as we mentioned, in terms of quietness in the cabin, but also just sort of overall impact refinement and, uh, and overall performance of rough, rough terrain uh, feels significantly improved. Of course, this is still a body on frame vehicle, but moving to this latest, um, you know, ultra rigid chassis basis that the, the Tahoe and the company got a couple years ago, really does wonders for this truck. There's still a little, a little bit of bumpiness and, and, and wobbles because it's, it's very firmly sprung in this four-wheel drive version and also very high off the ground. But I have to say, like overall, it feels tremendously, you know, rubber damped and, and very, very well insulated. It's a very nice machine, and when you combine this new fuel economy performance with no loss in capability, it's just a win-win. So I was, it's winning over skeptics. I mean, you should have seen my eye rolls when I, when they announced this motor, but, uh, but it really is very good and, um, and it'll really pay off. You know, it could save you up to like 50 or up to hundred bucks a month in gas. So that's a big, that's not non-significant. Uh, we, we, yeah, but I'm noticing you have to work it a little bit harder on throttle, but it doesn't mean that that's a bad thing. Of course. I've never been one to shy away from hard throttle inputs, uh, so not a problem for me whatsoever. Uh, so, good stuff. Go check out the new Silverado. The most noticeable things, of course, are its design, which are uh, which are it's very aggressive design elements, uh, and then a redone. It's not just the nose, the, the entire bodywork from uh, tip to tail is completely redone with new surfacing and some new creasing that looks even so very cool truck oh and, and of course um, the standard led lighting is a big nice upgrade because it looks gorgeous i mean the drls are kind of like so-so with that little like horseshoe shape um uh, facing outward in each corner but the actual main lighting is very very handsome uh, and becoming it looks really good on the truck and uh, I, I know that it's going to look great on the road for many years to come so all right we'll see you guys next time this is tom burkert from carver's daily in the 2019 silverado